Today's video is an XDeep NX700 first stage regulator review. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for a technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. The XDeep NX700 regulator has recently become available after a number of years of EU testing. It has a number of interesting features which makes it suitable for technical diving consideration. In this video, we are going to take a look at these features and we are going to look at how to set this regulator up for different sorts of diving applications. The key features of the NX700 first stage regulator are that it is a diaphragm versus a piston regulator. It is environmentally sealed. This is the outer environmental seal and is very similar to oceanic first stage regulators. It contains two low pressure ports, one here and one here and two high pressure ports here and here and you can see that the ports are angled in two axes away from the center body of the regulator and the high pressure ports are also slightly angled there is also a three low pressure port modular turret system which rotates with the three low pressure ports and there was also a locking mechanism which allows the turret to be locked in place if this bolt is screwed down into the body of the regulator. We are now going to discuss various applications that the XDeep uh, first stage regulator can be used for. Uh, the following drawings were taken from the XDeep NX700 and LS200 regulator manual. Here is a diagram of the NX700 in a single tank configuration from the XDeep regulator manual. Hose 1 is the primary regulator, which can be either a short hose or a long hose. Number two is the necklace or alternate regulator. Three is the locking bolt. In a single tank configuration, XDeep recommends locking the turret in position. Four is the low pressure inflator hose. Five is the high pressure gauge. And six is an optional low pressure dry suit inflator hose. In the event that you would want a long hose regulator hose leading down, you could change the port position from the main body down to this position here at the bottom center of the turret. This would provide a little better lead for the long hose for stowage. A pair of NX700s can also be used for back mount double tank use. In this diagram, hose number one is the long hose regulator. Item number two is the low pressure inflator hose for the wing. Item three is the hose for the necklace regulator. Four is the locking bolt in position. Five is a dry suit inflator hose and six is the left post high pressure gauge hose. In this diagram the right post regulator does not have a locking bolt. This is to enable 
the long hose regulator to be positioned a little better for an out of gas situation. In the event that the diver prefers a right post dry suit inflation hose, the dry suit inflation hose and position number five can be moved to the bottom low pressure port on the right hand post regulator turret. The use of a turret 90 degrees to the regulator body permits very clean hose routing for both the left and right post regulators. Here is an image of a back mount doubles NX700 setup. In this image, the right post long hose regulator is attached to the regulator body instead of the regulator turret. There is also a redundant bladder inflator hose coming off of the left post regulator. This illustrates the capability of the NX700 to have two low pressure hoses in the same plane. This allows not only a necklace regulator and a redundant bladder inflator hose on the left post, but also a primary bladder inflator hose and a dry suit hose on the right post. The orientation of the turret 90 degrees to the regulator body also allows very good side mount double tank use. For side mount use, X-Deep recommends two different configurations. This is variant A. Item number one is the high pressure gauge hose. Item two is the necklace regulator. Item three is the low pressure inflator for the wing. Four is the dry suit inflator hose. Five is the long hose. And six is another high pressure gauge hose. To reduce regulator hose stress, X-Deep also recommends variant B. In this case, the regulator bodies are turned inwards at a 45 degree angle. This results in the low pressure inflator hoses for the bladder and the dry suit having a more downward angle. This configuration also requires the right tank long hose regulator to be positioned on the opposite side of the turret. The NX700 can also be readily used as a stage or a deco tank regulator. Some divers prefer to use a first stage regulator on a stage or deco tank that has a turret. This allows the hose to be stowed neatly when not in use and pivoted 90 degrees when the regulator is being used. The X-Deep manual does not include illustrations on the use of the NX700 for stage and deco applications, so I have taken the liberty of modifying some of their existing drawings from their manual to illustrate this concept. So in this illustration, we have the NX700 uh, positioned as a uh, deco or stage tank regulator. This is, of course, for a left-hand carry. Item one is the high-pressure gauge hose, and item two is the regulator hose mounted on the turret. In this diagram, the regulator hose on the stage or deco tank has been deployed. Here is an image of the NX700 being used in a deco tank application. In this case, the high pressure gauge and hose is positioned in the traditional manner rather than alongside the tank. Due to the shape of the regulator body, it may be advantageous to reduce hose stress by using a 9 inch rather than a 6 inch hose as illustrated here. Since the NX700 can be deployed as a single tank regulator, a double tank regulator, a side mount regulator, or a stage or a deco regulator, it exhibits quite a bit of a versatility. This versatility yields a number of very valuable benefits. 
The first one is it's possible for a diver doing open circuit technical dives to actually have all of the same type of regulator. A second advantage is in the event of a regulator malfunction or if a regulator is damaged, the regulators can be switched between applications. A third advantage is that the diver will only need to carry one type of regulator service kit. The NX700 is an environmentally sealed diaphragm first stage. It is capable of cold water diving. However, XDeep recommends the use of dual regulators in the event the water is colder than 10 degrees centigrade. The NX700 conforms to EU certification and in my personal use of the NX700 first stage, I have not detected any performance less than any other high performing regulator. In conclusion, we believe that the XDeep NX700 regulator offers many advantages over other first stage regulators, particularly for technical diving. Currently, we see the only disadvantage to the NX700 is its limited availability. Hopefully, this situation will be corrected soon as the world's manufacturers resume production. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. Thanks for watching.